Trans supporters, members of the Clifton community, they were in Comanche, Texas at a courtroom today to hear day one of an evidentiary hearing for Joe Bryan. Why are we telling you this? Well, Bryan was convicted of murdering his wife, Mickey, way back in 1985. But the former Clifton High School principal has always claimed his innocence. Now Bryan and his attorneys are seeking a new trial. Leslie Draffin was in court today, and Leslie has what's happening during this three-day hearing and what was discussed today. Chris, Joe Bryan's attorneys are trying to convince a judge he deserves a new trial. They filed this writ of habeas corpus, which is a document used to bring a prisoner before the court to determine whether their imprisonment is lawful. In Bryan's case, it is pretty much a last ditch effort to get a new trial because all his other appeals have been exhausted. Now, Brian's defense team says there are at least six different reasons he deserves a new trial. And this week, they'll be bringing evidence and calling witnesses to back up those claims. Today, both Brian's defense team and the Bosque County District Attorney Adam Sibley tackled the key piece of evidence in this case, a blood-covered flashlight found in Brian's car four days after Mickey's murder. They also picked apart testimony given by Robert Thorman, a bloodstain pattern analyst used as the expert witness in Brian's earlier trials. Joe Bryan's defense team called Celestina Rossi, a bloodstain pattern analyst with more than 15 years experience. She looked through Thorman's testimony and says there are problems with his accuracy, that his findings weren't scientifically supportable or reliable. Brian's defense team also called Texas Ranger Jeff Wolf, who backed up Rossi's claims that Thorman shouldn't have been considered an expert in the field because he'd only ever taken a 40-hour introductory course on bloodstain pattern analysis. The state's key witness for the day, Tom Bevel, is a world-renowned bloodstain pattern analyst. He took the court through pictures of the crime scene and says based on his examination of Thorman's work, Thorman did not understand how to do key parts of the analysis. His testimony was inaccurate, not scientifically supportable, and in some cases, not reliable. So witnesses for Brian's defense team and the state all seem to say the expert testimony given by Thorman back in the 80s wasn't accurate and he should not have been used as an expert in the first place. Executive Director of the Innocence Project of Texas, Mike Wade, says these are some of the reasons why Joe Bryan deserves a new trial. The testimony back in 1989 by the prosecutor's expert, we now know was absolutely inaccurate and it was assumed, relied on heavily by the jury in reaching the verdict that they did. And uh, so that is an injustice that we hope can get corrected through these proceedings. And it is important to note, after the three-day hearing, Judge Doug Shaver can make a recommendation to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals about whether or not he believes Brian should get a new trial. But it will be up to that court to decide where this goes next. So what's on the plate for day two? Well, tomorrow, Brian's defense team is set to go through what they call their innocence claims. We will be here through it all. We'll have updates for you on air and online.